somebody who's had a terrific season so far. Uh, a sixth-round selection out of Louisiana, and the way that everything broke in the backfield for the San Francisco 49ers, they have been leaning on this man to run the football, I guess, when Debo Samuel is not. He is uh, one of the best running backs in the NFL today for the San Francisco 49ers on a three-game win streak. Joining us on the Mercedes-Benz Van phone line is Elijah Mitchell. How are you, Elijah? Doing good. How y'all doing? I'm doing better uh, than for talking to you. So thank you for calling into this program. Um, how have you found your first season going around in the NFL, Elijah? Uh, I found it going pretty uh, pretty well uh, for my first year. Uh, just got to keep keep building and keep uh, keep playing like how I'm playing. Where were you on draft day when you got the call in the sixth round? Walk me through your uh, draft day my, experience. Uh, I was in my hometown um, in the Iraq. Louisiana. Okay, and you were with family. Is that where you where you were with, or walk? Give me give me uh give me the details on the day and and who called you on that day? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was uh at home with family and stuff. We had running out of building uh close to close to my home and everything, and uh we were just waiting around, and I got a call from uh from uh Kyle and and John Lynch. So that was a uh, that was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> so you look down at your phone and you see an area code. I imagine you wouldn't know off the top of your head the area code of uh, Santa Clara, California, right? Off the top yeah, of your head. Sir. So yeah, sir. and then you pick up the phone and it was Kyle. That's the first one. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, actually uh, it was uh, my position coach Bobby T, and he put me on the phone with Kyle and uh, and John Lynch. So. Uh, I knew it was a good day after that. And then a celebration broke out. Oh, um, oh yeah, a celebration broke out. My mom was crying. Everybody was just just uh, happy for me. And then when did you realize that you were going to get a considerable opportunity with this team, Elijah Mitchell? When did that first hit you? Like, okay, um, it's not just going to be a learning curve. It's going to be an actual uh, real live competition curve for you. When did that happen? Um, I think um, I can remember uh, – I think it was right before the season started. Uh, I started getting like uh, um, reps with the ones and stuff, and then right there I knew like uh, I might have a role. So uh, that that was another time that I was very grateful for. Okay, and we've heard quite a bit about uh, the practice um, habits and or expectation level of players from San Francisco, and certainly I had Debo on the show last week and I asked him about Brandon Ayuk and how. Um, for him this year, even though it was his second year, was a bit of an eye opener on that front. What about you and the running back group in San Francisco? What What are you told about uh, how to go about being a professional, Elijah Mitchell? Uh, really, uh, really, when I first got here, uh, like uh, Juice and like uh, Raheem and uh, uh, Jeff Wilson, they would just always talk about uh, make sure you you have your details down and make sure you be locked in because it's all about details. Uh, you got to be in the right right position, the right alignment, everything, because everything happens for a reason. So uh, that was a big thing for, for our room. So they expressed that to us, and I just had to be a sponge and and go for it. How difficult is that? What? How will, the degree of difficulty uh, it, on that? It was some. It was something that I was. Uh, I was. I had to get used to because uh, at first I really, I really didn't know anything about being like very detailed. So uh, once I caught on, it was just. It was just, I just started rolling from there. No, obviously, we, we always talk about a, a physical aspect of this game, but it's that's part of the reason why football is so remarkable is the neck up part of it, that, that muscle that you have in between your temples is so important and certainly in a system that we keep talking about that is exotic is the word we usually use, uh, Elijah Mitchell, about the offense that you're playing in right now. Mm -hmm. So what, what adjustment level has that been for you in general? for you uh yeah uh you definitely have to bring it uh mental wise because uh it's the game is so fast you gotta know what you're doing you don't have time to think so you really gotta be on everything on your p's and q's so that's something that i stress a lot and uh still getting used to now so uh but it's been been going really well for me. elijah mitchell here the san francisco 49ers uh on the rich eisen show who's the most grown-ass man that you've met in the hole this uh this season so far in your first 12 weeks, coming through the hole, and there's that guy standing there. Who's that guy, Elijah? Ooh. 
I just say I really I really haven't met anybody yet that okay. I have to go through the hole with. So okay, all right. So and because are you the one who's doing the punishing? Is that your way of saying that, Elijah? <laughs> no, not not really. It's just I just never had like a head on head with any linebacker, you know, specifically. That's because you're schemed into the open space, huh? Is that what... <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's... My boys do a good job getting them out the way. That's right. Your guys do give you a clear spot and your clear space. What is it like in the locker room this last month compared to the first of the season? Uh, yeah, uh, now in the locker room, everybody was happy and stuff because, of course, we won. But uh, that's, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning, we, it's just like you expect. Uh, nobody's happy. Everybody's down because – we know we're better. You're better than what we played. So uh, now I'm starting to click, and you got to keep it rolling. And what about the the uh, the responsibility that's being placed on you, Elijah? How do you handle that? Because it's clear that you're you're the guy. You're the guy that's going to get the rock. You're the guy that's going to get the rock, not just to start, but to end it. And that is a that is a crucially important position for the San Francisco 49ers. So how do you handle that one, Elijah? Uh, like I say, uh, I I go by it. In the game, we play the same either way it go. But uh, uh, I'm happy for the opportunity that Kyle and him uh, trust me carrying the ball that many times. And like I said, you got to stay consistent and keep it going. Who's your guy growing up? Who was your guy growing up when you were rooting for football? And who who was the guy that you were saying, "I want to be this guy when I get to the NFL," or that's the guy that inspired me to get to the NFL? Do you have that guy? Man, one guy, one guy that I watched for football being a running back, Barry Sanders. That that guy. That 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 is an awesome running back. Why why I mean, how old are you? It, I mean, you're that, I'm, that's I'm, I'm 23 years old. Okay, so you're that's an old school name that you just threw out at me, Elijah. You were not yeah. alive when Barry was running like that. Exactly. Is it uh that just somebody? Well, my my uh my high school coach uh Coach Como he uh used to always harp about that. He showed me film of him, and ever since then, I just been watching his highlights and stuff and. Man, just the way he moves and make people miss, that's just something that I, I want to do and something that I want to do. So uh, that, that was the guy that I watched. Okay. That's interesting. So no, no New Orleans Saints? Did you grow up a Saints fan where you were? Is that... uh, yeah, uh, I definitely was a Saints fan. Uh, but uh, now it's like I, I'm uh, San Francisco oh, of right course. now. No, so. I understand that. <laughs> no, I, I totally yeah, yeah. I, I totally understand that. I'm just trying to see if there was anybody on the Saints that you were growing up. So it's Barry Sanders. You were watching cut-ups of Barry Sanders when you were growing yeah, up there. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, well, look, Elijah, what, do you, what, what are your two cents on, um, on uh, your, your collegiate football program losing your coach to Florida? What did you think about that, Elijah? Like I say, uh, man, uh, like I say, he uh, – Coach Napier, he he deserved everything, man. Like he he did an awesome job coming in, and even when I was uh, in college, uh, when he came in and changed everything for us. So I feel like I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now if it wasn't for him coming in, changing the scheme and everything. So, like I say, uh, that those guys at the the players at the school, they they understand the deal and they know he's an awesome coach. So, uh, like I say, it's time for him to go. So uh, good luck to him with that. The word Super Bowl being mentioned around your parts at all? Do you hear those words mentioned for your team? Oh, most definitely. That's 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 the goal. That's that's the number one goal that we have, Super Bowl. So, so how uh, how's it brought up? Do you guys just say we're going to it, or I think we can do it? You hear your guys from two years ago saying this reminds them of the season where they made, they went to it. Anything like yeah, that? Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, 2019. We they, we always talk about that. 2019. We got to get back to uh, where we were in 2019. So uh, that's something that we harp on. And like I say, we got to keep making this run so that can happen. All right, well, uh, I'll help you out because you called into the show, and I greatly appreciate that, Elijah Mitchell. Uh, there's somebody named Bobby Wagner named uh, number 54. I'll help you circle him. Um, that's that's a guy that you're going to see coming up um, in your next game on Sunday night. He might be that guy in the hole. So you look out for him. You keep your head on a swivel for him, okay? <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. Okay, and then if you if you do, in fact, you know, get past him, run him over, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll take credit for that. How does that sound? Is that fine? <laughs> That's, that sounds good. I appreciate that. Thank you, Elijah Mitchell. You take care of yourself. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the day. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, we'll do. You got Thank it. That's Elijah you. Mitchell. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 